Hi guys, welcome, welcome to my channel. It's so formal, right? Okay, um, today I am actually cleaning up around here. I'm rearranging some of our furniture because I want to decorate, um, like put up our Christmas tree and put up some Christmas decor here in our house. <laughs> but um, yeah, before I'll show you what I'm I'm going to do anyways um, a company reached out to me recently and they asked me if I want to review or try out uh, one of their products this company Levois I think that's how you pronounce it Levois um, they sell their items off Amazon I'm going to link um, you know Amazon their products in the description box you guys so you guys could check it out we are going to open this product they sent me together you and me um, so you guys could um, you know you know see what how they package and everything and I'll do like an unboxing so um, yeah but it's through Amazon I opened the box already because it slipped my mind that they will send me a product and then I just don't know I didn't order anything from Amazon so I'm like I don't know what it is so my husband and I are like wondering what is this box all about so I said when I open it and see what's in there I'm like yes I know what this is so yeah okay let's open this box I'm curious well actually I know what it is but it's just I, I I'm curious how it works because I've never own something like this before so it's perfect for me to review this product and also my first impression so yeah let's open so this is the box what it came in um, so yeah you can see it's from Amazon Prime so I opened this box only but not the product box because you know I'm, I was just wondering like I've said what did I order on Amazon I didn't know even my husband um, so yeah uh, after I see this uh, box then I know where it's from so yeah so let's open this up so it has this poly air you know to protect the product which is nice and okay so I don't have my address here do I so anyways, this is the product, Levois Cora Salt Lamp Himalayan Rock Natural Think Salt Rock Lamp Crystal Night Light. Hmm. I'm going to link um, the product down below for you guys. So this is it. It's kind of heavy and I really like it because it comes in like a... Oh, sorry in like really Christmassy so this is perfect for gifts if you guys are um, looking for a gift this Christmas this is the the company Levois see better see a better you Levois Levois Oh, what's that? Is that from French? That sounds like French. I think it is French, Derek. Come here. Okay. So, le bois? Le bois? Yeah. Do you know what that means? Yeah. What it means? You mean? Okay, let's open it up, guys. Let's and open it's, it. It's so hard to open with one hand. Le bois? Le bois? Okay. Ooh. Ooh with instruction Glitter. it says here natural himalayan salt lamp that's what we are getting right now oh my thank god thank you for choosing Lavois. we hope you enjoy your new product Ooh. Ooh. okay okay it's making oh they even include extra bulb nice nice mommy you want to see this oh yeah it's, it's you charger. cannot do this with your USB, but it comes with this as well. Uh, okay, hold on, guys. It's so hard to like do this in one hand. So now these are all the salt. Mommy, the rocks. What else do we have got? So this is the salt. Salt. This is the lamp, not the salt. Hold on, guys. 
Oh, it's so cute. Okay, so I took off the protective on the outside and then I was reading over here because I wasn't sure. Okay, guys. Um, okay. Okay, right there. Set up. Remove the protective lining from inside the lamp. Can you remove that, please? That plastic inside, Derek? Okay. Yeah, remove that. Take it out. And it said, then open the bag of salt crystal right there and then place them carefully into the lamp housing evenly distributing them around the bulb the light bulb already comes pre-installed and is covered by the lamp housing oh okay so it's covered okay okay so we will do that we will put the salt there carefully okay um okay Okay, so we place uh, this carefully, I guess. One by one. This is like a puzzle to me. Right? Is this like a rock? It is a rock. What's a lamb? Lamp is like like a light. This looks like a construction. Construction? I guess so. It just a, it just hard like a cement. <laughs> Are you sure we need everything? Mm hmm. I've never owned a salt lamp before, so this is cool. So this is really, really cool. That's it. That's it. That's it, guys. Okay. Good. So we distribute this right. Oh, I'll, I'll do that later. cute it has that on button there so we'll try and um, plug this in so I turn it on and it's so cute but it didn't bright well I guess it's like that so you can see that the lamp is turned on so this is the the maximum brightness of the lamp it's so cute guys oh my gosh like it matched my decor. <laughs> Match my decor. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it, you guys. Yes. Oh, you tap it. Oh, just tap it once. Can I try? There you go. Can I try? Okay, try. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> it did work. <laughs> it did work. Right? I guess it's like this one, like that. <gasps> I'm gonna try that. There you go. It, it did light. Okay. Oh, cool. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. Okay. There you go. That's enough. Yeah. I think that's good. So this is the uh, like dim. So if you want to bright uh, brighten more. Hi guys. So the family are going out so I think we're gonna uh, run some errands go to the thrift store and hubby have to go to the store and bank and you guys can see I put up the Christmas tree but yesterday I noticed our Christmas lights half of them are out so I don't want to fix it it's just I just don't want to fix it <laughs> there you go so I guess we're going to buy a new lights if we could find like 
this is seven feet so it's really tall um, last year I got the lights from Home Depot I don't want to go there it doesn't maybe we'll check out Canadian Tire I don't know so okay so let's go it's six o'clock almost six o'clock so it's dark outside and snowing and cold and but yeah so we're gonna vlog today so i'll talk to you guys later yeah we're here at the salvation army here, here in oh actually there you know what Maple somebody Shows. could squeeze in here that small car for small sure car, yeah. yeah um mcphillip sorry see i have my whole gang again hi hon Okay. <laughs> See, I got my rugrats again and my husband has been hubby. Thank you. Are you kidding me? There's Ashley there. Ashley. Where? Oh, Ashley. Where? Your village. Hey, do you have Mickey Mouse? Cute. Disney. Okay. Okay. Hey, Derek, no more toys. That's it for you, okay? Okay. Alright, no, not it. Okay, here on this bench, it has like a frame, but it's a cute color. found this actually it's an anthropology cardigan medium though so I don't know I'm kind of leaning towards that so not this though so I don't know but it is weird so I don't know what that I don't know what this is Let's see. Lauren trying out that jacket. It's by Esprit. It's not on my jacket. <laughs> yeah. Cheap now, friends. Mm. They're like $4.99 each, and they all have the equipment. 
Oh, here, I'm looking. Remember this movie? Dumb and Dumber? Remember that? Oh, yeah. You have one, right? Huh? Do you have one? No, I don't. Mm -hmm. I've never heard of this, the girls. This is Ray Dunn. Deck the hall. It's cute. It's cute for Christmas. Deck the hall. For Christmas. This reminds me of an ASMR video. Hi guys, so the usual I'm going to um, share with you guys uh, what we found at the thrift store. Again, um, I trip with my husband and my two kids and uh, we went to Salvation Army first. Oh, we ran into Ashley. It's so funny. Um, as soon as uh, we opened the door, I saw her right away. <laughs> and she was looking like the sweaters. I guess it's like the sale. Um, they ha they're having like 40% off on sweaters, toys books cds and whatever so my husband wants to check out um of course the dvd and cd got the creed um cd that's what he got uh it's not a dvd derek yeah but he bought a dvd at value village oh anyways i end up not buying anything at salvation army i was going to buy um the cardigan that ashley showed me but i don't know like it's orange and I know it's anthropology piece. I just left it. I know it's like 40% off, like around $6-ish. So yeah, so we went to Value Village after. The reason why we were thrifting that late, because my daughter is like complaining that her winter jacket is tight. So I said, well, we'll check out thrift store. If we can't find anything in the thrift store, then I'll buy you a new one somewhere else. So we went to Triff. Um, she's very specific of what she wants. She wants like a longer, kind of like puffy jacket with a hood, with whatever. So nothing at Salvation Army, guys. Um, she didn't want anything that I show her. I showed her. So yeah. So I didn't buy anything there. So we went to Value Village and we found this jacket for her. It's by Esprit. It comes with this, by the way, guys. Um, yeah, it comes with the, this. I just uh, took it off because I'm going to put it in a wash. Um, I'm not gonna wash with this because it's just gonna go bad after. So I'm, I took it off. This one is $16.99. $16.99. It's like a long coat, jacket, whatever. Um, it really fits on her. This is in a size. Size. I didn't say US size 4 or in the UK size 8 so basically it's size small so yeah um, if it's her I'll insert a picture of her trying this on it's so cute on her it match the boots that I got her um, so yeah and then my husband picked up one DVD, Dumb and Dumber, <laughs> oldie but goodie. Um, this is the uncut version. Uh, Dumb and Dumber. Yes, Dumb and Dumber. Yeah. So, you guys know my husband likes movies, so he's into that. Movies, CDs, whatnot. <laughs> he watched Netflix once in a while if um, he sees something that he liked, but... He's still into buying DVDs, so yeah. And then I got uh, this one. Oh, I got this one in the. This one is Ray Dunn. It's like a plate uh, for Christmas. Deck the halls. It's so cute. And it was only $1.99.
so it's cute to put like cookies and stuff during Christmas. Mommy, I want to say hi. Yeah. Say good morning guys good morning oh this is the next day by the way so yeah and and i'm saving the best for last guys so okay you have to get up because i have to show them something so i'm saving the best for last um but obviously you've seen this on the vlog and also if you follow me and ashley in our instagram um you've seen this we post this in our insta stories so um yeah i found an authentic dolce and gabbana coat it's really long it's a long coat it has a belt same material as the um coat and it has two snap closure in the front but i mean it's kind of like a uh, hidden you can't see it, see it on the front but it has a snap and you can belt it to close so it's really really nice jacket and i love the color i wish it really fits me because this is in size four zero forty <laughs> size italian i guess italian uh yeah italian made in italy so size 40 um dolce and gabbana and the material of this is 20 percent nylon 35 percent mohair 45% alpaca <laughs> and the lining like this really pretty kind of lining that they have is uh, viscose so yeah and the care for this no wash in water no bleach cool iron light dry cleaning so it's normally it's the same care for taking care of like wool material almost so no tumbler yes so it's dry cleaning only they should have just said that <laughs> so yeah but i search what alpaca and mohair um like it's similar to wool but it's less scratchy and and it's not as itchy as wool it's really soft actually and um apparently alpaca is more it's warmer than wool i uh, don't quote me on that i might be wrong but that's what i read online <laughs> Sometimes they say don't uh, believe everything you read online. So anyways, um, it's actually really soft. And you know what's surprising to me is uh, when you go to the thrift store, right? Um, a lot of their coats, they have that stale smell. Um, it's like coats or jackets that they put in their closet and never use for the longest time. <laughs> this one, I'm surprised, it doesn't have any stale smell at all. Yeah, so I'm like happy because it's so clean. It's in really good condition. Actually, it's excellent condition. No rips, no stain, no holes, whatever, no snugs. It's so like perfect. Like I just wish that this fits me because I will keep it. I don't mind keeping it. And when you search Dolce & Gabbana online, like brand new Dolce & Gabbana coat, they it's priced like ridiculous, like 3000 there's this polyester one. It's not even wool material. It's like three thousand nine hundred fifty Canadian. Who would want to spend three thousand dollars on a coat? Unless you're like a millionaire or something. That doesn't matter. <laughs> but uh, I mean, this is like, yeah, it's it's a steal of what I paid. I, I didn't even reveal what I paid for this. Yeah, after we post um, in our Insta story, I've been getting a lot of inquiries asking. How much would I want to sell this for? Even woke up this morning and I got like 20 messages um, asking how much would I sell this um, Dolce & Gabbana coat. And I'm pretty good in replying. I tell them what my price. And after that, um, they just, you know, stop replying because they, they saw already how much I wanted for. It's a courtesy to just let me know if you're interested or not. So I know that there's some interest going on with this coat um here's my rant um maybe some people expect me to price this around 50 to 100 dollars because it's like thrifted right um but again if if i paid i didn't reveal the price if i paid regardless like 20 dollars 30 dollars or 40 dollars and you want it for like maybe 60 bucks for this um no because 
I done my research. I put a lot of effort in like thrifting. I go to the thrift store, look for pieces that I want to resell. That's why it's called resell because it's business. Um, I have to make money somehow. Um, it's not like you have to pay what I paid in the thrift store. What about my time? What about my gas? What about, you know, the effort um, of looking for, yeah, like stuff to sell? Um, okay, for an example, I don't know. It's like common sense, you guys. Um, let's just say this is like a DVD that's been released. Paid $20. Do you think Walmart bought this at a manufacturer for like $20 and sell you for $20? I don't think so that's not business you get the picture i don't want to like rant and i don't want to get started if you if somebody will call me greedy because i'm not asking for too much for the jacket i even search uh, on ebay how much vintage uh, dolce and gabbana costs and average they sell it for like around 250 to 300 bucks plus shipping and i'm asking 220 for a jacket that it's in good condition and yeah and shipping is including in that price so anywhere in US or Canada that's my price for this jacket no less I don't want to like go lower than 200 so yeah that's that's what it is that's my rant I'm sorry it's like early in the morning I've been getting a lot of like messages and yeah there's one that who already said oh you're it's a bit it's a bit much well thanks for replying back I, I appreciate it that you said that it's a bit much so um, yeah but I'm sorry that's that's probably I'm gonna stick to my price this time a lot of us wants bargain and stuff like a lot of us wants like cheap stuff uh, but I mean you're still getting a good deal on a coat that's Dolce & Gabbana and you could help me you could help me <laughs> you could help me um, you know finance my thrifting addiction <laughs> just kidding that's it guys and i hope you guys enjoy this video and yeah thank you guys for watching and here again my son Derek. love you bye bye